Top shortcut number 12, the Selection Pane shortcut. The Selection Pane shortcuts are Alt plus F10. So Alt F10 once will open up the Selection Pane, Alt F10 a second time will close it out. And the way the Selection Pane, Alt F10, saves you a bunch of time is it allows you to analyze what's on your slide. And you can open up groups, you can hide things with the eyeball icon, you're just making sense out of what you have on your slide. You can click in, rename things, you can change the layering by clicking and dragging around. So it's basically giving you a bird's eye view of your presentation, which in this case is a fairly complicated slide, which if I hit Shift F5, you can see is actually trigger animations hooked up to these shapes that I've named in the selection pane. If you want to learn how to create a voting block using the selection pane like this, just check out my other video here on YouTube. Another way that the selection pane is useful, let's say that I want to format all of these individual icons, but I don't want to format the background rectangle. Notice if I just come to the drawing tools format tab, let's say that I want to make them red. Notice that I lose the icons because they're being filled red with the background rectangle. Well, if I open up the selection pane, Alt F10, you can see that I can select all right, the rectangle and all of the icons. And you can see them selected, highlighted here in this like salmon color in the selection pane. There's the rectangle I don't want to format, so holding control, I'll unselect the rectangle, which then allows me to graphics, just fill those icons red, and I'm good to go. So that's how the selection pane is going to save you a ton of time by giving you a bird's eye view of your slides and allowing you to drill into the individual pieces.